cozy couches, fireplace, mountain views. Join us for Whistler's best kept secret on a rainy day, today on The Express. Turn snap. Coming up. Bud glide roar. The sounds of a fairy. And a new children's book from local author Sarah Leach. Thanks for letting me come today. And Whistler's shoulder season brings fall colors and puddles to play in. Ooh, play in the mud. Then model trains built by model volunteers. Just watch the kids go through the, through the train layout and that makes it all worth it. Rainy days abound. Join us for the Express. Welcome to the Express on Shaw TV. I'm your Cedar Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald. What to do on a rainy day? How about cuddling up with a good book here at the Whistler Public Library, a gorgeous $12 million facility. A new book kids definitely want to check out is Catch Me If You Can. We'll meet the local author in just a moment. But first, what kid doesn't love to play in puddles? The splashing, the mud, the merriment. Adults also like to have fun, but they prefer to power up their puddle playtime. Leaves turn golden, the chilly glow of autumn. In short, the perfect season for an adventure. Not to mention the perfect excuse for playing in the puddles. I was not expecting a mud bath. Fall really knows how to pack in a multi-sensory experience with ATVing here in the Callahan Valley. Woo, play it in the mud! Putting the all-terrain into Canadian all-terrain adventures. I like how moist and tacky the dirt is. Um, just makes for fun trail riding. <laughs> the first time on an ATV left me squealing. Hosting 90% newbie riders on their tours, my guide Vince Shuley built my confidence turn by turn. We start it quite easy. We go along the main uh, service road. Get people used to the acceleration and deceleration of the vehicle. After that, we, uh, we do a bit of training in side hilling. And then single track. Anything but a fat forestry road adventure, far from the infrastructure of Whistler Ski Resort, the Callahan Valley is truly where the wild things are. I would get a lot of folk from back east to ride through Saskatchewan and Ontario. So out here they come across a lot more obstacles, a lot more technical trails, and there's a lot more exposure off the side, so there's that danger element which they enjoy as well. And an environmental one. This is one of my favourite areas on the tour. We're surrounded by uh, old growth forest here. These are uh, somewhere between three and five hundred years old. A quick tutorial on flora and fauna, and we were climbing again. It gets progressively difficult as you go through the tour, and then you greet it with this at the top. Oh, the mountains up here are incredible. Canadian All Terrain Adventures offers a number of tours. Today we've taken the Wild Wild West, which is about four hours in lands here at the Secret Cabin on Sprout Lake in the incredible Alpine. In the fall, it's a beautiful place to take in the views, and in the winter, it's a wonderful place to warm up at their wood-burning stove. You know, right now we're at about 5,000 feet. We've got, uh, you know, 60K of trails or so. Well, we've been able to expand upon what's an already existing trail network in the Callahan from years of uh, logging, mining. We were able to turn them back into some really fun ATV trails. Woo! <laughs> fun ATV trails that splash into childhood. Only this time round, we've got bigger toys. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for The Express. The fall colors are incredible these days and soon they'll be covered in snow. So make the most of this in-between time and get between the covers of a good book. A library card here in Whistler is free to people who live in BC. Out of province visitors, you can get a one week pass for only $10. A library card will go a long way on a rainy day. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Every Friday throughout the year we have toddler story time which is great. So it's an opportunity for parents and caregivers to bring their 18 months to three-year-olds. This is a great way to bring uh, literacy to the kids. And today we're very fortunate to uh, welcome Sarah Leach, who is our special guest. Thank author. You. Thanks for letting me come today, you guys. 
I love your picture books, especially Mountain Machines. Every Whistler kid has got to have one of these. It's a counting book. Uh, but you also have a new uh, juvenile fiction that has just come out, Count Me In. Uh, what is this adventure about? Uh, this one is about a girl named Tabitha who goes hiking up at Lake Lovely Water, which is right near Squamish, with her uh, aunt and her two cousins, Ashley and Cedar. Uh, Ashley in particular is not very nice to Tabitha and is making her life miserable up there. I've also written another book. Uh, it's called Jake Reynolds, Chicken or Eagle, and it's also with Orca Book Publishers. We have a number of authors here in Whistler and in the Sea to Sky Corridor. So for uh, an author who has written books uh, suitable for toddlers, that would be Tracy Higgs. She's written uh, a mountain adventure to do with al alphabet. So that's lots of fun. We also have uh, Casey Dye. She lives in Lions Bay and she has written uh, a trilogy and some other stories, fantasy stories, about uh, a young girl uh, growing up who has some time travel back into various historical periods. One of my favorite young reads right now is The Hunger Games, a three book series. I read it in two days, it was incredible. Uh, what are some of your favorite reads these days? Well, I have a lot of favorite reads, but two that I really enjoy, uh, the Airborne Born Trilogy by Kenneth Oppel, which is uh, steampunk fiction set uh, on an airship, uh, and Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech, which won the Newbery Medal and is a beautiful book. We have quite a variety of reading programs. I'd love to talk about our high school book club. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for our young adults here in Whistler to come out once a month. We talk about what they're reading. We also read the same book together, so we have great discussion. As a society, we can encourage more readership in a couple of ways. A big one is get your kids into the libraries, whether it's the public library or the school library. I'm a teacher librarian, and I really see the kids who are using the library uh, reading more, when, especially when they have someone who can help them get the right book into their hands. Churn, snap, hum, hiss, thud, glide, roar, rev, groan, zip, screech, clang, blow, snore. Kids have a place to call their own and so do teens. The Teen Lounge has young adult novels, magazines, CDs and even audiobooks. Next, let's get off the page and step into Canada's rich railway history in Squamish. Everybody has a story, and everybody has a passion. Set against a storybook backdrop of trees and snow-covered mountains, there is a place where trains are the keepers of stories. This is how a typical 1920s, circa 1960s, uh, railway town would have looked in BC. The West Coast Railway Heritage Park is home to more than 65 storytellers who are under the guardianship of volunteers who share a like-minded passion for bringing BC's railway history to life. Tens of thousands of hours annually are given to this park. We have over 400 volunteers. Chris Forgette is one of these dedicated volunteers. Everyone has a different reason for volunteering. Some are spurred by history, others by healing. Trains found a way of bringing joy back into Chris's heart after mourning the loss of his wife. When Patricia passed away in 2005, um, I moved here to the park after a trip across Canada and they gave me the car to build a model layout. With no plan in mind, Chris assembled the railway using photographs from his Canadian travels as inspiration for the model. His passion is model railways. So he, he got it inside of this old rail car, which has a history of its own, and built a beautiful, uh, magnificent model railway inside. And it's in memory of his, of, his, of his deceased wife. The park, in their wisdom, decided that because of Pat, the car would be renamed the Patricia Ann. Currently, Chris is restoring a shovel bunk car that was built in 1912 for the Grand Trunk Railway. The tongue and groove lumber for the outside we made ourselves. The door mouldings, the doors and everything we all made right here in the shop. This shovel bunk car also holds significant value for Chris. My dad was a shovel operator for over 43 years. And it was sort of a, a no-brainer to have the car done for him. Seven days a week, Chris can be found restoring trains and working on model railways. To him, it's worth the effort. The stories of those he loves will live on in generations to come. Just watch the kids go through the, through the train layout and that makes it all worth it. 
So many reasons to be here, so many stories to tell. Visit WCRA.org for upcoming events like the Polar Express. Our rainy day special continues here at the Whistler Public Library, and you'll only find it on the Express. ATVing the West Coast Railway Heritage Park, the Whistler Library, and coming up, a U-Brew house. After the break, new ways of saving money are brewing. The most difficult part is waiting once you've got the one day. The speed of light is equal to the frequency of the same piece of same... And how much light. do you know about uh, the universe? The wavelength of light. Okay. Now, we need all the chocolate chips, so please stop eating them. Okay. Nicole Fitzgerald's wardrobe by Peak Performance, hair styling by The Loft Salon, and makeup by Beauty Mart. POV camera courtesy of Contour, while filming on the mountain, parking provided by Fire Rock Lounge. 